Hey guys, JJ here, and I wanted to give you guys an update on the Residents of Evil podcast with Paul Haddad, and then I wanted to make a huge announcement for an upcoming episode of the Residents of Evil podcast. Also, I have some more updates for the Residents of Evil, so stay tuned after the big announcement for those. Alright, let's get into the update on the Paul Haddad podcast first. Unfortunately, we've been scheduling dates with him a few times now, and there's been complications on our side, complications on his side. We just have not been able to get a date to actually do the podcast. The good news news is we still want to he said he still wants to as far as setting up a date there's no confirmed date yet between us Ollie's still working with him but hasn't heard back in a little while so I just wanted to let you guys know because I know a lot of you are looking forward to that podcast I know I was we're not gonna put a date on it if somehow it works out and we can actually get together and chat with him we'll just put it out as a surprise episode just to not get any hopes up but yeah we're still trying to work on that ollie and tony just finished up an awesome podcast with ruben langdon he was the mocap for chris redfield and resident evil code veronica resident evil 5 resident evil 6 and he was dante and devil may cry 3 and devil may cry 4 that podcast was amazing and i am working on that right now and i should have that up sometime next week but i'll be announcing the winner of the residents of evil shirt on that podcast so stay tuned for the residents of evil podcast with ruben langdon all right guys time for the announcement actor sarah coates you guys know her as marguerite baker in resident evil 7 will be joining us as a special guest in an upcoming episode of the residents of evil podcast this is all your fault you god damn code wrecker We're going to be discussing her role as Marguerite and asking her questions from you guys. So definitely drop your question down below and maybe we'll ask your question to Sarah. All right, now let's get to some updates on the Residents of Evil. If you guys remember a while back, I actually demoed a fan build of the RPD main hall made by Crying Horn. It was made with the Unreal Engine 4 and it looked absolutely gorgeous. He did a fantastic job. While he made a big announcement on his Facebook page the other day, he said that he was going to be creating a VR version so if you have an oculus a vive um, you can now download his main hall and try it in VR so I actually have something here recently oculus was doing a huge summer sale and I picked myself up an oculus rift and crying horn just announced that he was gonna release the RPD main hall seriously shortly after I got this so I thought it was perfect timing so you guys can expect me to do a VR live stream of the RPD main hall by crying horn uh, it's gonna be absolutely fantastic I can't wait that's gonna be actually coming out very soon he said so look forward to that and the last thing I want to let you guys know about if you haven't already seen I'm currently doing a let's play series on the black mirror it's an adventure horror mystery game set in the black mirror mansion it's a point-and-click adventure game so if you like mystery and horror and you know all that definitely check that series out I'm on episode 3 right now and I'll be recording some more this week so if you guys do enjoy that definitely drop a like lets me know you guys are interested in seeing more of that and um, definitely gonna keep trying to do some more cool um, survival horror games in the future all right guys if you want to follow the residents of evil on facebook twitter twitch or instagram at row network that's our we network i'll leave the links down in the description thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you back at the residents of evil